Wisconsin recall primary election is just now two days away. And gubernatorial candidates are campaigning hard across the state. Fox 11's Kelly Schlicht has the latest on efforts here in Northeast Wisconsin as you decide 2012. At the Outagamie County Republican office in Appleton, volunteers making calls to remind people to vote received a visit from Governor Scott Walker. A lot of folks, a lot of attention on the Democrat primary, reminding people there's a Republican primary, and that I'm here in the Fox Valley and around the state asking for people's vote. In statements to supporters, Walker seemed to be zeroing in his attacks on Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett, the Democratic primary candidate leading in recent polls. Barrett, seen here campaigning in the Green Bay area earlier this week, spent his day in Milwaukee. The last eight years under Tom Barrett's leadership in Milwaukee, the unemployment rate has gone up 28 percent to up to 10.4 percent today on employment in that city. Democratic primary candidate Kathleen Falk campaigned at Green Bay's Bay Beach Sunday afternoon. A recent poll shows Falk trails Barrett by 17 percent, but she says don't count her out. He should be better known because he just ran for governor a year and a half ago and you know he, he fell short, uh, but he's well known and so that's why you campaign. Falk says her record on job creation along with the backing of unions will help her clinch the Democratic ticket. It's what it'll take to beat Scott Walker is this grassroots movement of organizations and they have almost every one of them endorsed my campaign. And Candidates say though they must get through the primary election first. They're also focused on the general recall election to be held in less than a month on June 5th. Kelly Schlicht, Fox 11 News. Walker's Republican challenger Arthur Cole Riggs campaigned in Appleton this evening. Meanwhile, Democratic candidate Kathleen Beinhout stumped for votes in Madison. Democratic candidate Doug LaFollette's website did not list any campaign events for today.